Hello everyone, welcome back to another spray paint tutorial. Today the scene we're going to be making is a palm tree sunset painting. And the materials you're going to need are poster board spray paint, a small circular lid, straight edge, palette knife, a sock or a sponge, and a foam brush. For the small circular lid, you can easily use a can of spray paint or the lid off one of your cans like I'm using here. You don't need to add any colors. Just lay the small circular lid on the, uh, on the poster board without adding any color. And the colors that I'm going to spray around it are just basic sunset colors. You can use yellow, orange, and red. For the sake of doing this, I just use yellow and red. And the closer you're going to be to the, uh, the sun, which is, of course, why we have the circular lid, plant stencil, whatever on there, it's going to be brighter. So that's why I have yellow closer to it and then red more around the edges. Okay, then you're going to want to take your straight edge. Lay that a little bit below center just so it's not boring and directly in the middle. Spray blue and then we're going to add white. And as you can see, this is the amazing abilities of Krylon where it creates those lovely lines of spray paint. So that's why I don't really use it anymore. But And I also left this in. It shows a uh, small little mistake I made when lifting up the straight edge. It scrapes some of the paint away just to show that even if you make mistakes, you can fix it. Just recover the line. And I'm going to take my can of white and just spray a little bit heavier to cover up that mistake. And we're going to blend it all together anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. And at the time I was doing this, I uh, wasn't really used to making this much water in a painting. So you'll see I have quite a bit of trouble trying to blend it together, but that's why I always stress using enough paint. But if you add too much, then you're kind of screwed because you can't really take the paint away. You can always add more paint like you'll see me do. I add more blue, and I add more white. And plus, if, if the paint doesn't want to blend, add some clear coat and it'll blend right away. And yeah. And also, uh, before I added the blue and the white, as you can see, I put some of the yellow and the red down below. This will naturally mix with the blue and the white, making a kind of like greenish hue to it. It'll also have some of the yellow and the red show through. Not a lot, but it's just enough to keep the water interesting so it's not just straight blue and white. But as you can see, I just keep adding clear coat and some more paint just to make it so it's easier to blend the paint. Next, take a can of black. And uh, as you can see, I just kind of make like a basic line diagonal shape on the corner of the page. And then I kind of build on top of that so it's not just going straight across. It's a little bit more interesting. Ground's never just flat, especially in the wild. There's bushes and leaves and things of that nature. I'm not... Uh, I'm not really going to stress too much on the ground in this. I have other tutorials, and at the time I was doing this, this is about two. This is almost two years old, actually. Wow, and uh, I wasn't really good at nature scenes at the time. So, if you're new to my channel, I will post uh, links to my uh, other tutorials on nature, like rocks and leaves and uh, highlights and things like that. But I'm not going to really stress it because this tutorial isn't too great for that, and that's not the point of this tutorial. So I literally just basically left this in so everybody can see what it is that I did in order to create the ground that I did. But I'm not really going to go into detail describing it. This is mainly to teach you guys how to do a sunset and some palm trees. Because I have about four nature paintings, but I only have like one palm tree one. So, <laughs> But basically, all I did was dab some of the paint away with a sock that was turned inside out. To make rocks, you do like curved lines with the palette knife, and to make sticks and twigs, all you do is do quick flicks upward. I'll add links in the description, stuff like that, to lead you guys to my other nature tutorials, but I don't really want to focus a whole lot on it because that really isn't the main point of this video. And plus, people are complaining a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know if they were complaining, but they're saying that I talk a lot in my videos. That's because when I'm editing the video, before I do the commentary, I don't really realize how little time I leave myself to not talk, so I apologize. I'll try to talk less from now on. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start making the palm tree. Take your foam brush. You can either spray paint on the side and dip your foam brush into it or spray it directly onto the foam brush. It doesn't really matter. But you just start from the top, and you just kind of make like a very gentle curved line. You don't need to curve it like drastically, but just start from the top and the more towards the ground that you get, or the bottom of the palm tree, you want to curve it just a little bit. And you can go over the trunk of the tree several times to get the desired width. 
And the further down the tree you want to go, you want to add a little bit more pressure to make it a little bit wider towards the bottom. And to start making the leaves, I call this kind of like a, like a skeleton fashion because you don't really make the leaves all at once right away. You kind of make like, like I said, like kind of like a skeleton. You just make an outline. Well, I guess that'd be a better way to put it. You'd make an outline where you want your leaves to go. You just simply paint or draw lines with just the corner of the brush. And then after you get all those made, you just take the corner of the foam brush and uh, just start kind of like flicking and streaking outwards. Wow, that sounded kind of dirty. <laughs> uh, to make the leaves. And if you're running out black paint, add some more. It's, you know, just because, oh, Seth didn't say I could add more, so therefore I'm not going to. <laughs> no, uh, add more paint if desired. Uh, if one corner of your foam brush is running out black paint, just use the other corner of it. It's that easy. So as you can see, I just kind of like made what I say was the skeleton and uh, just build on top of it. It takes a while to learn how to do this, so take your time with it. As you can see, I just use a little bit of the corner and just kind of flick and just build on top of it until I get what I blah, 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 until I get tongue tied, <laughs> until I get what I want. Okay, then we're going to make another one. As you can see, I just start from the top, and I just kind of cur gently curve it towards the bottom. I've seen people do palm trees, and they curve it a lot to the point where it's almost like a half circle. It's it's a very gentle curve, so hopefully that helps. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just making another outline for it again, so I know where all my leaves are going to go. Put like a little weird tough thing on the top of that. I don't know why I do that with my palm trees. It's just force of habit. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. My bad. <laughs> Using the corner of the brush again, if you want, you can just uh, add to, like, the bottom of some of, like, your branches and some things. I'm not, I don't even know if palm trees really have branches, but if you just add to the bottom of it, it makes it look like the branch is uh, hanging over more as opposed to just standing out on its own, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But it it's the easiest hard thing you'll learn how to do with spray painting. It looks easy and it's easy when you get used to it but it takes a while to get used to so don't get frustrated and quit with it right away but there we go simple sunset painting when you get used to them yeah they are pretty simple they're very bright and colorful uh, people tend to go towards these a lot more because there's more scenes like this as opposed to space scenes in real life you can go out and see a sunset with some palm trees and they're bright and colorful people tend to gravitate i guess towards buying these they they like them so uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys uh, and gals, gotta include the ladies as always, <laughs> enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe to me if you guys enjoy my videos and if they help you out. Anyways, thanks for the support and until next time, I will see you guys later.